You're looking at a live picture from George Floyd Square in Minneapolis. Three years ago today, George Floyd died, his neck pinned under the knee of a Minneapolis police officer sworn to protect and serve. It would be the last nine minutes, 29 seconds of the 46 year old's life as he struggled to, and begged to breathe. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz has declared today George Floyd Remembrance Day. Cell phone video of Floyd's murder sparked civil unrest and a demand for police reform in Minnesota and around the world. A book highlighting George Floyd's life is now one of the latest Pulitzer Prize winners. Charmaine Nero spoke to the authors of His Name is George Floyd, One Man's Life and the Struggle for Racial Justice. It's been one year since journalist Robert Samuels and Tolu Oronipa published a biography of George Floyd's life after tragedy. Robert and I both cover this country in all of its fullness, with all of its warts, the highs and lows, and May 25th, 2020 was a really low point in this country. Both journalists with the Washington Post at the time of Floyd's death knew his story didn't just start after his death. We wanted people to really understand that the battle for George Floyd to breathe in America started long before he ever met Derek Chauvin. Hands up! Don't shoot! That's when they decided to take a journey into Floyd's background, from his upbringing in Houston's Third Ward to his impact spanning across the world. A legacy now a part of history again, after the book won the coveted 2023 Pulitzer Prize in general nonfiction. Got a call saying that we won. And the only person I was told I could tell was Tolu and my wife. Time and I, I was in disbelief. While three years after Floyd's death, both authors say there's still a long journey ahead when it comes to justice. They're hoping his legacy lives on through these pages. Floyd was a fundamentally American person. If we truly believe that lives matter, whether black lives or all lives, we have to remember that George Floyd's life, his actual life mattered. Charmaine Nero, Care 11 News. Both authors say they're not ruling out publishing another book. They tell us they hope to continue telling stories of people striving and trying to live out their dreams.